Oh, it's backwards. Shoot. <laughs> oh, well, too late, guys. Hello, hello. Thirsty Thursday. Who's in the house? Who is here? So far, it's me. I know someone's here, though. There's Catherine. Hi, Catherine. Good to see you. Catherine's in the house. I didn't even... I have been so busy today, I didn't even uh, do my stuff. Carla's here. Here's Marguerite. Hello, hello. Come on in. Nancy's here. Well, it's a beautiful day in your neighborhood. I'm chilly. I have got Uggs on. Hi, Dana. Hi, Cassie. Hi, Heather. <laughs> I'm good to see you, Cassie. Joanne is here. And you know who that is, right? Hiding behind that saving dinner mask. It's Jenny. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Jane. And there's Jackie. Good to see you guys. There's my girl Beverly, too. Smoothie time. Hello, Juanita and Julie. <laughs> Lady Smith, Virginia. I love that name. Hi, Sarah. And Gwen is in the house. Hello, Gwen. <laughs> Hi, Lizzie. V's here. There's Suzanne. I'm glad you're here. And there's Jen, too. I love it when you say you've missed coming in. Well, I missed having you here. And there's my girl, Kathy. Good to see you, Kathy. I have flannel on and of boots, y'all. I mean, it is chilly. It, you, can't, you can't see through my windows. But, I mean, if you looked out, it's just this very cool clouds. And last night, we were all snuggled way down into bed. Turned the fan off, even. Hi, Angie. Good to see you. Good to see you. So, how is everyone today? Thirsty Thursday. You thirsty for a little something something? You know, uh, so interesting because I, I, uh, I've been looking through everything, all of my notes and every, oh my gosh, I got to clean all of this stuff up. I have a Peloton coming on Tuesday the 25th. My goal is to have this all done and cleaned up. I have this much to do on the, this much, and it's all spread out and looking crazy. So by Sunday, somebody hold me to it. I will get it done. 81 in Raleigh, it's 65 here, 65, but with the cold and everything, you know, this is just how it is. The western part of the state is chilly. Everywhere else, you know, down in the Piedmont where uh, Raleigh and Charlotte and everything are, it's warm. So anyway, Hello, hello. Happy Thursday. Let's get busy. We got some things to do today. And V's going to remind me. Yeah, I'm telling you, I need to be accountable. I need to be accountable. And I've got all of Marla's writing assignments and everything else that need to be done. This book I am so excited about, and I just need to make sure that, you know, getting it out and so that we can have it in time. We're going to do um, a workshop with it. We're going to do all kinds of things. If we've just this has been such a learning experience. Hasn't everything. I love a learning experience. When we have learning experiences, uh, it enriches our lives. And that's what we're going to talk about a little bit today. But tonight, did you know we're doing, um, well, first of all, next week, starting next week, we are doing it absolutely free called a hydration challenge. The reason I want to get into this and the, one of the reasons, you know, that we were thinking about that and everything is just how crucial that water is. That water is everything. I mean, that water is everything. Well, actually, hydration is everything. And there's more to it than just water, of course. And there's more to it than just flooding your kidneys. And that's why I want to talk about it. Break it down a little bit so you have a better understanding of how hydration works. It's free. Come tonight. You can get it. You'll also get the whole thing and how we're doing it. And you'll understand how to do it. We've got recipes for infused waters. It's so fun. Um, we, and we actually did them without fruit. So for those of you who are strictly keto, it's for everyone and you'll be able to use it. I, I'm really excited about it. So if you want to go to savingdinner.com forward slash station. Yeah, just like, you know, Penn Station or train station, just but just station. Because part of the thing that I'm going to teach you tonight, of course, is how to set up your hydration station. I mean, super easy, but... It's also a game changer because when you are set up and you are planned out and you know what to expect from yourself from the, from the from the day, you get things done. 
you know? That's the thing that I've noticed. So anyway, good, Joanne's gonna be there. It's a deep dive, and I'm using a lot of the, the I have a hydration um, chapter in my book, and although I've shared deeply about hydration, I've got more good stuff in there, more wise, more about the science, and more to make it happen. Suzanne, no, I don't have a keto cookbook, but we do have keto menus in Dinner Answers. I would highly recommend that, and plus we're writing some new ones, y'all, by the way. We've got new recipes on the way. Um, I just, I got Caroline to do it, so she is so, she's such a good recipe writer. I taught her what to do. <laughs> I taught that little girl, and she's just, um, she's helping out a lot. So tell a friend about this, too, you know, because this is a great way to help others out. One of the things that I have noticed and one of the things that has just rocked my world is just how often different like brain fog is attached to dehydration. Um, kidney stones are attached to dehydration. How a lot of different things that we do are attached to hydration, dehydration. And chronic dehydration also leads to all kinds of chronic diseases. We gotta hydrate, y'all. And so when we've got everything working on maximum, that means we've got the hydration down. And um, you know, there's the, is, hydrating is just such a crucial part. So that's why we did this whole thing. So invite a friend and go to savingdinner.com forward slash station and get yourself signed up. This is how it works. This is so you can get onto the platform. I, mean, I have a slide deck and everything. You know, I'm like, I'm that girl. Slide deck. I love, I love me a little slide deck. So today, of course, is um, we got all everything. Tomorrow is Q&A, by the way. Don't forget about that. So send your questions in. You can send them into support at savingdinner.com. Subject line, question for Leanne on Friday. And then that way it gets onto, we have this thing called Airtable, and it just puts everyone's questions in there. It's fantastic, it makes it so easy because then I can see exactly um, how to help you. So nutrition, diet, weight loss questions, um, cooking, whatever, just send them in. It's easy, do it. <laughs> We've also, you guys have really responded well and as a matter of fact, we have sold out of some supplements that we are, we've ordered again but it's probably gonna be a little bit and this is why we've done the bulk supplement ordering so we can really take advantage and get a whole lot ordered, get a whole lot in. And then, um, you know, cause we have to wait two to three weeks before they can put us back on the schedule to get our supplements done. This is how it works with a smaller manufacturer based right here in the United States. This is how it works. So what we do is we order as many as we can possibly order and then we put them through we let you know about them and when they're gone, you're gonna to have to wait. So right now we have Just Juice Veggies are gone and Get Lean CLA, we have a couple of other things that are actually low. You can get up to 25% off by ordering in bulk yourself. You know, I'm sorry, but for me, this I am a Costco girl. <laughs> I love sales, everything in my refrigerator, my freezer, all of my supplement, everything, I've always ordered on sale. I, I do this myself. When there's a sale, I take advantage, so I never pay retail for anything. And that's my smart, wise hint of the day. <laughs> Don't pay retail for anything. And as a matter of fact, our L-glutamine, which is right here, and you guys, I didn't flip the camera, sorry about that. But our L-glutamine, which looks like this only backwards, <laughs> is an amino acid that this is the most fantastic thing. If you do not have this in your war chest against weight gain and cravings, you're missing out. I do this all the time because not only does it crush cravings, it also helps to heal your gut. And there's new studies coming out right now. There's one that I just read recently and I'm not completely versed on it yet to give you the full impact of what it is, but it shows how it helps you to lose weight by closing up those junctures in your intestinal tract. Food should not be floating around in your body. There's only one place for it, right? Your whole digestive tract, that's it. But if you buy four of our L-glutamines, we will, three, I'm sorry, three of our L-glutamines, we'll put the fourth one in your cart for you and it will ship free. That's a screaming deal. Ships free is your code and you put that in the promo window as you're checking out. Screaming, screaming deal. 
All right, that's number one. Number two is this will take care of a craving like nobody's business. Marla had her Q&A today. Somebody was talking about how do you quit smoking. Somebody recommended, I think it was Catherine who recommended take the L-glutamine because the L-glutamine, when you use it like this, I put it in a dish. I'm gonna give you a little demo. You put it right there on your finger. Do you see that? Right here on your teeth, your tongue, your gums. You can't even taste it. It's just like, it's a nothing little thing. And it knocks out that craving because we have a connection in that one pleasure center of the brain. Doesn't matter if it's meth <laughs> or carbs, it's the same thing. Or smoking or booze or whatever the heck it is that you're just like hooked on. Even a bad behavior, it knocks that out. It takes, it diminishes the craving. Absolutely. I told you this, I learned it from a psychiatrist who deals with um, hooked addict addicts of every kind. And she said it's just an absolute physiological, bam, knocks it on its head. So, yep, you can use it. Get it now, though. Um, we are, we're, we're flying through it. So get it, you'll get th order three, you get a fourth one, and it comes, um, and we'll put the fourth one in for you. Ships freeze the promo code. And no, we don't have it in capsules because this works so much better. It works so much better when it's in loose form. You know, it's instantaneous. That's why. And I thought about doing capsules as well, but I thought, you know what? We haven't, Don't we have enough capsules? We really do. We've got lots and lots of capsules. So let's go ahead and use this um, in its powder form. Put it in a dish. Put it in a... I think it was Catherine who said she walks around with it in a baggie looking like a drug addict. So, I mean... And Lizzie says she uses it while she's watching TV. And that's a really good thing because what she's doing is she's cutting out um, an old habit. She's killing an old habit because you crave things that you used to do all the time, right? You turn on the TV and if it immediately makes you think about popcorn and ice cream and all the other stuff, get out the L-glutamine and let's take down that craving. It really helps. It really helps. Of course, there's mindset stuff. There's You can go out and exercise. You can do all of this. But physiologically, bam! knocks it out. It knocks it out. Does the craving come back if you stop taking the L-glutamine? It will at some point, but it will start to diminish as you go and as you start to redirect yourself. You know, we're like children. Have you ever had to redirect a three-year-old? Good grief. You know, oh, let me play with the fire. Let me play with your glass fill-in-the-blank crystal things. But you redirect them into something else. Well, this is what L-glutamine is. First of all, L-glutamine is going to take out the physiological, yeah, yeah, the jonesing part, right? And then you redirect yourself to do something different. So for example, um, yes, go ahead, diminish that craving, take care of it, use your L-glutamine, put it on your teeth and gums and just go, oh yes, thank you. It takes away that and then do something else. Connect with something else. For example, um, do some handwork, do some crocheting or some knitting or, or something like that, or a crossword puzzle but redirect your behavior like you're three years old and it just takes a minute. So it's a lifesaver and it's a game changer. So as you can see, I'm, I'm, a, I'm sold on it. It's just a marvelous thing. We're also getting really low on the mindful mugs and the pinky set cup and you should see what we've got coming on. We have been looking at a new design. <clears throat> Jenny and I have been talking about some things. All, that's all I'm gonna tell you about. Because in the in September, um, we were, are gonna have another full bloom workshop and it's gonna be virtual, unfortunately, because <laughs> we just can't count on this pandemic going away, right? So we gotta do we gotta do things to keep everyone safe. I don't expect you all to get on airplanes. I won't get on one myself. I don't ex you know, when I meet you face to face, I am going to give you a hug, okay? I don't want to be wearing a mask. I don't want to be doing six feet social distancing. I don't want any of that nonsense. I want the real deal, right? Pinkies up, man. We're humans. This is a connect thing. So I would rather be connecting like this right now, like how we are. And I'd rather be connecting on virtually so and just talking to you and being there. When we connect in person, it's gonna be it's gonna be a full blown love fest, okay? Are you with me on that? <laughs> I just don't like it any other way. Yeah, that's right, Joanne, pinkies up. And you're all gonna be there, aren't you? 
You're all going to be there and you're going to be out on my deck looking at my beautiful view and I'm going to be feeding you and giving you wine and telling you how wonderful you are because that's how we roll. <laughs> Rock and roll, sisters. It's That's all there is to it. That's how we got to do it. Don't forget about tonight, though, and sign up for tonight. Bring a friend. Bring a friend. This is one of those things that's that's just such an easy thing to do and to understand, and it's just going to make it's going to make you connect the dots. So that's savingdinner.com forward slash station, and uh, easy to share. Get your friends in there. So today, where I'm going to talk about how we argue <laughs> for our limitations, isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth? Do you, do you ever find yourself arguing for your limitations? In other words, you're saying, well, I can't do that. I can't, I've never done this before. And, I, and we work ourselves into a lather to show why we can't do this and explain ourselves away. That's kind of nutty, isn't it? Oh, I can't drink all that water. I mean, this is, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to get in and do the hydration thing and just show you, if we're gonna do a hydration challenge, I want you all in. If you understand the science, you'll you'll do it. You're going to be doing it, and you're going to be absolutely gratified by knowing, that, like a lot of the old myths about being uh, hydrated, are just dashed against the rocks. But I hear all the time, I just can't drink that much water. I just can't. I just can't. We argue for a limited. Well, I have a, I have a tiny bladder. <laughs> I have this, and I have that, and there's all these reasons why. Why do we do that? Well, number one is I think sometimes we believe a lie about ourselves. Oh, I'm just not athletic. That was something my daughter used to say, and it really irritated the heck out of me. I said, come on. You know, when you say I'm not athletic, what do we do? Our reticular activating system goes into overdrive looking for evidence to support that. Look, see, I'm a klutz. When, when she was in eighth grade, she was a, um, had a moment <laughs> in school, which was just a, simply a nightmare. Uh, small school and they had um, nine kids like seven girls and two boys it was just a tiny little school and these girls really didn't want to have anything to do with my little homeschool Caroline they thought she was just you know a disaster and you know and these girls were all like wearing thongs and you know all of this and my daughter was her eyeballs were you know as big as her as saucers like these girl and they they all were just so much she was so innocent I, th I feel like I threw her into you know into a pot of boiling water and um, they had a basketball team and she would be playing basketball and you know she'd fall and it just it just didn't work and she and everybody cheered for her at the very last game they finally put her in when they were creaming everybody else because they had a really good basketball team and, you know, she tried to shoot and tried to shoot. Everybody's cheering her on, except, you know, some. <laughs> but I certainly her mother, you betcha, I was yelling. I was the loudest one on the sidelines. She never made that basket. And she walked away from that. And I remember what she said. I will never be athletic, Mom. That's the story that she told about herself. Fast forward, she is 30 years old today, and she still says that. Well, I told her, listen. <laughs> you're only as athletic as you think you are. You're only as athletic as you put the effort out to be. And one of the things that we have done is we have signed up to do online bar classes together every single day. Well, Monday through Friday. We're gonna do like a 30 minute bar class because I love them. We did them before together when we lived in the same place. And this is going to help, I'm hoping, to realign her thinking about how athletic you are because athleticism shows up not just in basketball but it shows up in doing a bar class it shows up in other places we are limiting ourselves when we say I will never I can't for other people that's possible but not for me I mean it's fine if you want to say I will never be a, a, an NBA player okay that's fine but guess what you can be a basketball player if you put your mind to it I mean, you can go play in a women's league. You can, and I don't care how old you are. If you decide that this is something that you wanna do, you can do it. And that's what I wanna say here is that we tell untrue stories about ourselves. Just because we aren't at the, the pinnacle of athletic prowess does not mean we're not athletic. We can be athletic if we say, yeah, I'm athletic. I can do these things. 
and interesting when I got my um, I did a, a DNA test you know like 23 and me but I did a bigger one it was a neutral uh, genome test that was you know like 50 something pages and in it it says that I am more athletic th genetically than others so I went okay so I'm an athlete and and I thought that was so funny because uh, now I'm gonna start claiming genetically I'm an athlete so there so that means that I am not scared to take things on. I've got a Peloton coming in a week. I cannot wait. I'm going to go in full board. I'm doing and reading and getting ready for this and getting myself psyched up for it because I'm one of these people who really needs to sweat it out. That's, I mean, I'll just put it out there because uh, I'm always, you know, I'm battling against a metabolism that's a little tougher than others because of, you know, thyroid stuff. But it doesn't mean, you know what that means? That doesn't mean I'm limiting myself. It means I understand what's going on and I'm gonna do it anyway, full board. That's what we need to do. That's how we need to start off. We need to be able to say, this is what we can do. Peloton has a, um, she said, a, so I think it was Sonia who said, I wish I could afford one. I know they're so expensive, but you know what I did? <laughs> I got rid of my gym membership and I am paying, they have a, a program that you can pay every month and there's like 1% interest. So I thought it's worth it. I'm worth it. <laughs> I'm worth that time. I, I bounce, I do all kinds of stuff, but I want the sweat factor. I want to crush it. And I know that this is the kind of thing. When you know yourself, you know yourself, right? When you understand what works for you, you do it. And I know what works for me. I know what, what doesn't work for me. And I have to incorporate both diet and exercise and in a, in a hardcore way, in a, in a way that says, come on, Leanne, <laughs> let's go with it. You know, all the way, all the way. Playing full out is the way that I know that I'm gonna get what I need out of my life, out of my energy, out of my body. And um, this is where I am. At this point too, I am 62 years old and I have decided I am not going to just allow myself to, to fall apart. I will show you my little gym that I've created downstairs. I've got a little bench. I've got a little dark dumbbells. I've got some kettlebells and stuff. I'm telling you, we're gonna kick some butt on that. Also, we're putting together another fitness challenge for you too. Jenny, I'm just giving you bits and pieces. Jenny and I have been talking about that. We've got, I've got photos of me doing all these different exercises in all my glory. Yeah, you get to see that. <laughs> But these are, it's a great core exercise program and I can't wait to share that with you. It'll be fun and, and you know, getting fit changes the way you think about yourself. Getting fit changes your energy level. And all of these things, when we say that we can't, that we're, whatever our reasons are, we can do something though, right? We can do something. Being an athlete is something that you can put into your uh, equation should you choose to. Being an athlete doesn't mean you're gonna be on t TV or breaking any records or anything. Being an athlete means you're showing up for yourself. You get that? I, I just, that is everything to me. That is the thing that just, that rocks my world. And um, I will say to you, so if we are telling untrue stories about ourselves, we're also lining ourselves up with a belief system. It just doesn't serve us anymore. If we're gonna believe that, then Again, we are gonna be picking up all the evidence to support that. But if we throw out something different and say, I might not be, and you could tap doing this, you know, I might not be the most athletic person in the world, but I am somebody who shows up daily for myself and I am working on my fitness. That is an amazing affirmation. You don't have to do all the things. You don't have to crush yourself. You don't have to say that you have no ability to do that. Yes, you do. You have some ability. And we, again, it's what are, what, are, what are you looking at? What's your paradigm? What are you looking at? Are you looking at like, I am not, you know, this NBA player or NBA, National Basketball Association. Yeah, yeah I'm not an NBA, uh, WNBA woman. You know, I'm not six foot four playing college uh, basketball. So what? Again, you want to show up, you want to do that, you want to have that for yourself because you enjoyed basketball way back in the day, then go find a league and go play or take your child down and just do it. Yeah, Jane's still running at 71. We, didn't, we make a decision on what we want to do because our age does not need to define us. What defines us is how we feel. 
What defines us is, is the level that we're willing to put ourselves out there. That's what defines us. And we have this perpetuation going on of, of just this arrogance, of just dismissing um, that, it, that it's just not going to work for us. We argue for it. No, 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 that will never work for me. No, 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 I'm just not that person. No, no, no. And how many things have we dismissed and pushed away thinking that we just can't do it because we have some ridiculous ideal or thinking of somebody else or comparing ourselves to someone else? And I just think, how much are we losing out on life? How much are we losing out on the vibrancy that we're all so desperately seeking? A lot is the answer, a lot. Because really, at the end of the day, you know what it is? There's an unwillingness to learn. That's behind the whole thing. There's an unwillingness to learn. And if you're unwilling, that means that you are putting yourselves into a corner. You know, the, the line in uh, Dirty Dancing, nobody puts baby into a corner. Well, not unless baby puts herself in a corner. So is that you putting yourself into that corner? If you, if you put yourself into, the cor into a corner and decide that this is something that you can't do, then you are missing out. How many of you have, you know, you know the word FOMO, right? Fear of missing out, FOMO. You have that ever? You just think, oh, I wish I could do that. That would be so cool. Well, why not? Why not? We have a woman that's in our, um, I, I love her to death. I can't, and I can't think of her name. It's terrible. She's, I've known her for year, Haneke, for years and years and years. She's a German physician. She's a ballerina. She's in her, I think, late 60s, early 70s. And she's a ballerina. She sent me pictures of her dancing. How about that? Dancing. Jane says she wants to be willing to learn more about home repair skills. I'm going to tell you something right now. YouTube can teach you how to do anything. It can teach you how to change, um, you know, put in a new engine in your car. It can teach you how to um, build a house. There was an article about a woman, a single woman, and her four children who built a house from watching YouTube tutorials. That's it. YouTube tutorials taught them how to build their house. Fabulous. A long time ago, when I was trying to sell my house, um, this is when I was in Weddington, um, right outside of Charlotte, <laughs> I had my, my fireplace wouldn't work. I called an electrician and then I called a plumber because it was the electrical thing. They couldn't fix it, neither one. And I paid all this money and I'm thinking, forget you guys, you can't fix it. So I plugged in, I got the little thingy out because it was you know one of those fireplaces, gas fireplaces that you flip the switch. So I looked at the thing uh, and read what the model number was and I said, how to fix? And then I put the model number in there and don't you know, there's a YouTube tutorial in there. So I followed the directions to the letter and I fixed it myself. So it shows you that when you're willing to dig, when you're willing to find out that you are not your limitations, that you're only as limited as you think you are, you can get back on that. Brenda says she needs to work on physical strength. I will tell you absolutely. Oh, Erica used to live in Weddington. Um, I will tell you something right now. Every single woman that I coach, this is what I say. We need to work as women on our upper body strength. Women fall and they break their hips. Women fall because they don't have the upper body strength to get back up either. Um, they also, you know, this is how we protect our bones with by being stronger. You can use it with bands, you can use it with your upper body, with your, um, with your body weight. There's a million and one ways that you can do some kind of a physical activity to help your, to protect your bones. I mean, obviously, if I was going to tell you to pray, if you were right now here telling you what to do, take your vitamin, well, take the core four, just boom, take the core four. Are you ready? Yeah, take the core four. That's going to help you a lot. Also, do upper body and lower body strength, uh, squats, dips, push-ups, easy stuff. And if you can't do a push-up on the floor, do it on the off the wall. But all of this builds bo upper body strength and lower body strength, important core work, do a, do a plank, and guess what? It protects your bones. When your muscles are protected, so are your bones. So get that? This is so important. We will be doing that 
we will be doing I'm sorry I just got off on that whole thing so here's how we combat that whole idea okay you ready number one curiosity curiosity cracks the door what if I just tried doing X what if I just took my grandson down to the park and play some basketball right there and just did a couple of hoops what if what would that be like give that a try number two Lay it down, sister. Your ego has no place in your capabilities. When you put your ego first, that gets in the way. Your ego doesn't allow you to do things because, oh, maybe I'll look stupid and maybe I'm, uh, you know, I'll do this. But you know what this does when you have your ego in the way? It puts you in the place of warning, red alert. This woman is unteachable, not willing to learn. Egos. Ego needs to be in its proper place. Well, I mean, we, ego is part of who we are and it's part an out of control ego, of course, I'm not talking about that, but what egos do is it just, it allows us to line up with our self-esteem and it, it, it's a little bit about who we are and it's about how understanding ourselves. But when our ego gets out of control and pushes us back and tells us we can't do it, that's, that's when we gotta lay it down and just say, come on, stop it, no, no. You can do this. Yes, you can do this. And then I want you to also recognize a pattern in maybe when you're speaking. My favorite, and you've heard me say this before, is the yeah buts. You can do this, yeah, but I can't. Yeah, but if I were gonna do this, yeah, but. Every time you say yeah, but, you're excusing yourself from having to do something. You're excusing yourself and taking leave of trying something new. You're taking leave of your curiosity. You're taking your leave of the what ifs. You're saying that that part of your life is off limits and that part of your imagination shut down and that you do not have anything, any, any kind of an investment into what it is that you want. Isn't that sad? We don't want that. So the other thing is I would say is you gotta connect with the truth. What, you know what the truth is? The truth is, is Jane at 71 years old is a runner. The truth is that me at 62 years old is gonna go bonkers on that Peloton. The truth is, is that Haneke, a, a German physician, is a ballerina at her age and stage in life. The truth is, is that you can have what you want if you're willing to lay it down, be a little bit curious, and just dip your toe in there. Your limitations aren't fun. So when you argue for those limitations, you are arguing to push it all away. And that's no fun. You're pushing it all away. You're pushing the opportunity and the, the possibility that this might be the, ne the next thing for you, that this might open up a whole new level of vibrancy in your life. Mm. Do you wanna do that? <laughs> My husband's little name is Butt. <laughs> I love it. So self-care, is part of this, I think. You know, self-care is, you know, here they all are, folks. Taking your supplements every day. Self-care is not saying, yeah, but I don't have time, you know? Self-care is saying, I'm gonna step into that. I am going to try this out. I am gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna line up with my sisters. I'm gonna be a part of a community. I'm gonna question everything, and I'm gonna be willing. Willingness is such a good thing, isn't it? Because it just gives it an opportunity. I'm willing to try this. I am willing to do this. I am willing to call this person. I'm willing to sign up for this. Life gets so much more interesting when you do things like that. It does. It becomes beautiful. And it adds to the vibrancy of what you're seeking. So some questions for you. What you think about expands, right? So if you're going to be in this place of thinking about what is gonna be expansive and wonderful in your life, then you're gonna start thinking in terms of the what ifs and looking to that. Can you imagine if I put on a tutu? <laughs> Can you imagine if fill in the blank? And then if we understand that life is always working on our behalf, you know, what does that mean? If life is always working on your behalf, then you're gonna find out it, maybe this is for you and maybe it's not, but maybe it's gonna open the door to something else. 
That is endless possibilities. That is a belief system that is working on your behalf. And that makes all the difference in the world. So if what you think about expands, like we talk about all the time, is there something in your thinking that needs to flip so that you can start seeing it this way? Start thinking about that. And if life is always working on your behalf, what evidence are you gathering to support that? Be looking, be looking. Because it's no fun to live a life of limitations, but it's super fun to live a life that is offering you the full smorgasbord of, of everything that's possibly out there. Being a ballerina in your 60s or 70s, being a, 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 an athlete, when you think of yourself as like, no, I should be sitting on the couch crocheting. Being somebody who is going beyond the norm, taking it on, being all that you can possibly be. Because when you do that, your belief system expands, your world expands, and your everything expands. So does your community. I, I just signed up for a, a Peloton community and I'm getting all this good stuff. Man, how fun. How fun is this? It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be a challenge, but I am gonna put everything I have into it. And this is my invitation to you. Stop limiting yourself. Stop saying that this is, um, you're argue, gonna argue for your limitations and instead lay them down, lay down that ego. And it's time to go forward. Put on a tutu, put on a pair of running shoes, do something that's just a little bit further out than, than what you're a little comfortable with do it anyway. I don't know how dare you. This is how we get it done, sisters. This is how we get it done. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I, I, I loved talking about this stuff because it's just, um, it just makes life so much more juicy and fun, doesn't it? Two o'clock today, if you're part of my Hot Milk Club or part of my Take Back Your Life um, group, we're meeting in the clubhouse at two, very soon. <laughs> For our hormone class, lots of stuff there. That's number one. Tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern is what we're doing, is what we're doing the hydration um, challenge. I'm gonna tell you about it, how we're gonna work it through. But tonight is really an education, if you wanna really take a deep dive into the education about why it is so important to hydrate. It's everything and it supports a vibrant life. So I want you there, okay? Go to savingdata.com forward slash hydrate. And I want you to share this if you would. Share it with your friends, get them on in there. It's so much easier to do things together when you're all on the same page. This is why we build community. Thanks so much for joining me today. And don't forget about the L-glutamine. This stuff is flying out the door. This is your opportunity to bulk up. Put three in your cart, we'll put the fourth one in for you free. Ships free is that promo code and bada bing, a bada bang. Guess what? You're going to have L-glutamine taking care of your cravings and healing your gut for a long, long time. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace out. I appreciate you. Bye.